Hey everyone, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can add a photo of some paper texture into the background of your digital art to make them look a little bit more traditional. So you can see my digital sketch here on the left hand side and how we've made it look a little bit more traditional by placing some paper behind it. So I want to start by pointing out that I did use a pencil brush for this. Um, it's nothing amazing but as you can see it just has a little bit of texture to it. But you could use any brush you wanted. I do have a video on how you can make that pencil brush in Photoshop and for those that can't be bothered making it I do sell it on my website for like a pound or two so I will put links in the description box below if you do want to use the exact same brush. Okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually draw your artwork. So obviously we're using Photoshop for this and the main thing to remember is that you draw this on a new layer so don't draw it on your background layer and by that what I mean is you could remove your background and your sketch would still be there. So you can see I've actually drawn all mine on separate layers, various parts of it on separate layers like this. But that is not important. We can combine all those together by selecting them all and merging the layers. So that is all one layer now. But obviously this video isn't about actually drawing the image. What we need to do next is get a photo of the background we want. So it sounds a little bit obvious, but you're going to need to take a photo of the paper you want to use. Or of course you could find something online, but make sure you have the rights to use it. It's probably easier just to take your own. And I'm using grey toned Strathmore paper for this, just because I like the look of this one. It's got a little bit of texture to it, and my sketch has some white on it as well as black. So having a mid-tone grey works a lot better for me. So try your best to get your lighting right, get it fairly evenly spread or at least however you want it to look. Also try and get the photo quite head on, quite straight. So once you have your photo, upload it to whatever device you're using Photoshop on, open it in Photoshop. So it actually can be as simple as just dragging your image onto this or copy and pasting it. But if you want this to look really neat and perfectly straight and stuff, you might have to play around adjusting it a little bit. It's worth bearing in mind though that you might not want it to look too neat. If you were taking a photo of your traditional art to post on social media, it probably wouldn't be perfectly straight or perfectly lit. So you can see here I've straightened mine up. I'm actually going to talk you through this again. So what I'm going to do, because I already did mine at an earlier stage, I'm going to press Ctrl and J on my photo layer, which is the background. I'm going to hit Ctrl and T to select it. And I'm just going to straighten that up the best I can. Now I'm not actually doing it too straight on camera, I'm just doing a bit of a quick job to show you. And if you have taken the photo at an angle, it's going to be a little bit distorted, probably towards the bottom of the page. So you could press Ctrl and T, right click in the image, and you could use either skew or perspective. And what that does is it allows you to click and drag on a corner to stretch that out and make it straight. Now I've coincidentally got this quite straight, so I don't really need to edit it. but some of you guys might have it looking more like that when you take the photo. So you might have to use this tool if you want to get it a little bit straighter. Again, you can leave it at that. I'm just going to show you very quickly. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, I already have other videos talking about how you can use contrast levels and lights and darks. But I'm just going to show you, as an example, I adjusted the lighting a little bit. So it was a little bit too bright at the top. So I darkened that layer. I think I actually just used the selection tool, dragged the layer I wanted, and then again, using the tools I show in other videos, I'll put links in the description box below to those. You can play around with those. Another example of what I've done on this is actually painted some grey on and added it to multiply mode, and then I just turned the opacity down. So that is how it would look on full, and I just turned it down until I was happy. Again, it's not necessarily something you should do. I'm just showing you how you can make it more even and then last of all I just got rid of a little bit of the shadow. Anyway once you have your photo set up how you want it to look we're going to go back to our image layer and we can either drag this across or we can press Ctrl and A to select the whole area and Ctrl and C to copy. Go back to your photo and press Ctrl and V. If you want you can hold down Ctrl on your keyboard and move this layer about find where you want it to go. And this isn't a huge issue on my sketch anyway because it's quite transparent in most areas. But especially if it's not, you might want to switch it to like a different mode, so multiply or darken. 
as you can see from the blue eyes these will give you a different effect depending on things like what colors you've got on it so overlay for example is quite good because it shows the light coming through where it's hitting the page and that's really what these modes do they allow the texture and the lighting to show through a little bit more which will make it look a little bit more authentic a little bit more traditional but for this one i think i can leave it on normal so i am going to leave it at that guys i hope this video was useful to you it's just something a little bit different it looks pretty cool when you post in something like this on social media you can find more of my artwork like this on my social media pages again i will put links below if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. And of course, subscribe and turn notifications on for future content. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.